All right, guys, Greg here. So I got a special video for you guys. As the title says, I am gonna be adding a new bike to my stable. So now if you guys have kept up with me through Instagram, I'm a little bit more up to date with that, but I've sold all of the bikes from the throwback two-stroke garage build shootout. Reason being, my wife and I and Griffin moved out of state from Utah and um, we just didn't want to move with the bikes and I'm ready to move on to another project. As you guys have seen, I've literally been working on bikes for the past, I don't know, like year and a half and I've literally done zero riding besides the shootout in Mesquite part one and then part two of the shootout which we did at Mountain West Motocross in Mona, Utah, which video was still to come on that guys. I've been super busy watching Griffin and uh, watching him grow up the past three and a half months. Shoot, he's almost four months now. So I've started the edit on that. If you guys are wondering where the heck that video might be, I am not done with content on these bikes, but I stumbled across this bike and I just had to share it on the channel for you guys to see. So I came across, <clears throat> how I came across the bike was this guy, Robert. He reached out to me through MX Locker about the RM250 that I had for sale. Um, he wanted to see if he could ship it to Alabama where he was um, and then, but with shipping, it was just way too much and too much of a hassle and I didn't have enough time to get the bike shipped to him before we moved out of Utah. He also, he also then stated that he had this bike that he would be willing to trade me. So, which was an awesome bike, which is the bike I'm about to go pick up right now. I got thinking, hmm, maybe just maybe i can somehow swing this bike in the future and that's what we're about to do right now now it is not a bike that i need to fix up and uh, spend like months on refurbing tearing down and building back up that is not the point of this bike i just want something that is ready to ride i can take to the track right now because one i am sick of working on bikes my own bike that is i like working on bikes for you guys but I just want a bike to be able to take to the track and get out there and rip. So that's the purpose of this bike. And I'm super pumped to grab this bike because it's gonna create content for a long time for you guys. But right now, I'm gonna get this tailgate open, get this ramp in. Man, it's hard to do this one freaking hand pick. It's gonna be a three hour trip. We're gonna hop in the truck and get to seeing this bike. Yeah, check it out. First time in Alabama ever. That is a fun fact for you guys. All right, well, I was listening to the Pulp Show and for whatever reason, my phone decided to stop playing it, but check out what song came on. And if you guys know, you know what this song is from. It's from a video game way back in the day. Um, and if you know, leave a comment below because I can't be the only one who knows what video game the song's from. So uh, this is your captain speaking, uh, checking in again. And um, you can tell, I'm really jacked up right now. Not sure if it's the bike or if it's the combination of the coffee and this bang energy drink that I've got going on here. Ah, wish me luck. Uh, yeah, around 20 minutes out, I would say. And uh, I feel like we're about to do a little bit of thrift shopping, uh, like Macklemore, pop some tags but we have way more than $20 in my pocket. Um, this, is a, this is more than just your 99 cent garb, I would say, from a thrift shop. But um, speaking of 99, I think I said too much. Here we go. All right, we just pulled up into the house, literally last house on the block, somewhere I wanna live. <laughs> I actually wanna move into just the garage here. Check this out. So, you guys have seen me post some parts on Instagram. If you've been following me, um, you've noticed that there's some old two-stroke silencers, some pro circuit clamps. So out of all these bikes, which one do you think I am here to see? And it is definitely this KX250. Secrets out, guys. It is a 99. I didn't find it in a barn. It, it was a barn find. And literally you can see how many hours are on it. I mean, this clutch cover here is by far the most torn up thing on the bike. There might be like a little dent here in the pipe, but I mean, other, other than that, the paint on it is just mint, pristine. This is the OG Bridgestone Battlecross front tire on it. That's so funny because my 07 KX250 when I bought it had the original Bridgestone front tire on it too. 
but I mean, look how mint the graphics still are, the frame, everything. There's a little bit of kind of wear and tear on the swing arm a little bit. It does have a different rear tire. Let me swoop over to the other side. And rear sprocket. Some more scratches on the swing arm, but honestly nothing too crazy. It's a dirt bike, you go down. And I'm pretty sure this is the OG DID rear chain on it. How about we check out the sweet purple spring. It's probably gonna be a little bit soft for me. And coming in, the other thing that was swapped out was the carburetor hoses here. They were a little bit brown, like you guys know how they get. And this looks to be the OG original sprocket as well. The frame guards, how cool are those with the K Kawasaki. And even just kind of getting into the frame on the bottom here. Not even, this, my 07 was actually more beat up than this thing, I think. After I did it, after I put like 20 hours of riding on it but the motor is just pristine. Nothing has been broken into yet. All those bolts looks so good still. The cylinder, I don't need, the ignition cover has definitely never been taken off. Moving on to the other side. The, uh, the forks aren't even leaking. So those have got to be OG fork seals as well brakes let's see if we can dive into the brake pads focus focus now oh, doesn't want to focus but don't even need brake pads the og plastics the front number plate is a little bit faded oh yeah and it's got odi odi bars and different grips but that is it look how nice the seat cover is, it's like a couch compared to like new four strokes. So hell yeah, there it is. Oh, I forgot checking in on the radiator fins. Literally there's not even one fin. Oh, oh, size I lied. There's a couple of fins on the bottom there that are bent up. Other than that, things are literally in better condition than the KX250 and 23 right the 23 there. KTM the we got. <laughs> the fins on the 99 are in better condition. Look at that. Insane. <laughs> don't make me leave with that 250 and 450 SR though. <laughs> I don't have enough money for that. All right, so we're gonna get this thing started. Robert said it hasn't been started in three weeks. Now you've only ridden it like once, right, in the field? Only yeah. ridden it once, and it's been stored ever since. Yep, and it's only been ridden in the field its entire life for however long, how many hours or even minutes that was. So, In the pasture, as they would say in Alabama. In the, in the pasture. <laughs> um, let's, see. let's get this thing started here. Luckily, those are just some old CrossFit shoes, but guys, there is proof why I kick dirt bikes with a boot on. So there you go.
load it up. The ramp back in there. That is what's up. Coming home. So pumped on this. Yeah, so you guys can probably see, you can definitely see that 99 KX250 in the back of the truck. Obviously made the purchase I had to, driving three and a half hours to pick this bad boy up. Um, by now, you guys are probably wondering how much I paid for this barn find KX250. And I'll tell you guys straight up, I paid five grand for it. Five big ones I paid. Um, it's a little bit more than I wanted to spend, to be honest. But for a barn find in this good condition and for a piece of history, you know, the 99 KX250, um, first year of this generation, I, I'm not mad about the price. Um, I'm comfortable with it. I wanna know whether you guys would pay five grand for this bike or not. Um, just super curious because, like I said, at first I wasn't thrilled about the 5K, but like I said, I'm comfortable with it and uh, it's just money, we'll make more and it's not that bad if you don't think about it. So um, yeah, it's just awesome. What I, <coughs> excuse me, what I plan to do with it now, um, keeping it OEM, uh, I'm gonna try to get an OEM sprocket for it and uh, I need a, an hour meter as well. I'm gonna grab those parts from Rocky Mountain. If you guys aren't familiar, uh, Rocky Mountain's a huge supporter of my channel. I'll leave their link in my description below. If you guys use that rank, link to shop on Rocky Mountain, I get a small kickback from them at no investment to you. Always appreciate when you guys do that. Um, but I'm gonna run it OEM for a while. And I think it's gonna be really cool to uh, pull up to the track with the OEM look. Um, but once I get some more time on it, I do plan on building it. So I wanna ask you guys what I should do with it. Um, do you think I should try to keep it as OEM as possible? Um, I'm definitely gonna save the plastics for sure. When I start riding it, uh, on a, I'm gonna see if I can get other plastics. I don't even know, I'm gonna go on OEM, Rocky Mountains OEM part finder and see if I can even just get some OEM plastics for it so they're nice and fresh and just ride with these. So I'm gonna check that, check them for there. But um, you know, this bike's had some, this generation had some iconic looks, you know, like Ricky Carmichael's 01 KX250 Chevy trucks. I thought about doing that. There's a lot of those out there though. So I don't know. And you guys have seen some pro circuit parts that I've picked up for it. The triple clamps, the silencer, I would love a works pipe for it. Um, I'm getting that either way. Um, and then uh, got the purple Renthal bars too. So yeah, we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see what we're gonna do with it, and I want to know what you guys think I should do with it. Should I keep it OEM? Should I do like a Chevy trucks look? Like I already did that with my 07 KX250. So I that's why I was thinking about going a PC bike. But leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm I'm just really curious, and a part of me just thinks I should just really keep it OEM. That's what uh, that's what Robert said I should do with it. So. Well, uh, we'll definitely see. Stay tuned, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because this bike isn't going anywhere and there's gonna be a ton more content on it. Um, I'm gonna take it to a track hopefully here soon, get a first ride video for you guys and let you know how it goes. And then uh, once I finally do decide to build it, um, that will be on the channel as well as a complete build series. So appreciate you guys watching. I had to, I had to share the footage of me getting this 99 bar find. Uh, I'm stoked on it. I hope you guys are stoked on it and uh, we're gonna have some fun with this bike during the future. So as always guys, appreciate you watching. Ride hard, be safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.